Hello and welcome to Big Num Numismatics. Today I'm going to be going over some fatties I got in recently, semi-recently. So first off is a 1936 Cleveland commemorative half dollar in an NGC 5.0 fatty. Uh, this is one of the most common commemoratives, even though it's not seen. It, it seems uh, counterintuitive, but over 50,000 of these were struck, and most of them were saved, so they're uh, the third most common in gem mint state. But uh, I hardly see them, you know, trading around, but they are out there. Um, I guess most of them are just in collector's hands, and you can see I really like the, the Reavers. This is mainly why I bought it. Um, you can see it's got the compass pointing towards the Cleveland. You can see Detroit, Toledo, Chicago, uh, Minneapolis. Not sure what the Wisconsin one is, but who knows? And uh, the obverse has Cleveland. Moses Cleveland, of which Cleveland is named after, even if it's a different spelling. Uh, next is a pretty darn nice 1945S Mercury Dime. You can see it has some nice uh, popcorn, or not pop cotton candy toning to it. Just really... Really eye appealing, light blue, light pink. Luster is all there. A little speckling. And also on the reverse, you have some nice golden flecks. Uh, this is not full bands, and uh, when I bought it, no, the photos were uh, quite poor, so I thought maybe it would be a micro S, but unfortunately it is not. This is still a really nice MS-66 Keck. And next up we have three 38D Buffalo Nickels. So the first one is a 19, or uh, an MS-67. This one has um, a pretty flat strike. You can see there's lots of uh, dye obliteration beginning to show up in the uh, cheek area, or yeah, right here. You can see some dye erosion, dye erosion here, here. It has really nice luster super super bright and the coloring is uh you know not the golden tone you usually see and it's certainly not you know like a monster toner and the reverse is pretty flat you can see right here is pretty conglomerated up over the horn that's all pretty much one piece of fur but the luster really brings this out I would not expect this to cack, but I mean, luster-wise, it's excellent. Uh, personally, I would like to see a bit better strike, but can't go wrong with a 67 and a fatty. So next up is a really nice, almost uh, proof-like MS-66. This has some gorgeous mirrory fields. Great luster, great strike. Uh, this is something that I will be sending out to CAC, just because I think it has a great chance of you know, gold cacking, and especially with this strike, I definitely consider uh, cracking it out and sending it in for a 67. Uh, strike on buffaloes is one, uh, well, on buffaloes I really like to see 
this kind of strike for sevens. Uh, typically, you see anything less than this in the 66 range, even if it has really nice luster. I think if you switch the grades on these two, uh, they would fit much better, honestly. But overall, really nice example. Um, 38, these are also the most common to get into a gold cap. So finally, this is the best 38D of the bunch, and my favorite coin of the bunch. This is just a lovely, lovely example. It has a great strike, superb luster, and this is like a, a perfect 7 for me. This will also be going to CAC. It's pretty hard to tell whether a coin will gold CAC or not, honestly. I feel like if you have a bunch of the same date and denomination, you know, if you send in 20, 38 Ds, um, I think the chances of getting one gold CAC are higher than, say, doing it one at a time. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, even if a coin will upgrade, Will it get a gold cack? Because there are several times when you buy a coin and say a 65 cack and it comes back a 7. But this is just like a really eye appealing example. This is like a, a plate coin. Doesn't have, you know, superb toning that would put it in the 7 plus range, but it also doesn't have any spots. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think about these. I will have some of these up on my eBay link in the description. Um, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing and have a great day.